For the last 50 years, the Fire Protection Engineering Department has been enhancing the world's understanding of fire phenomena. Various fire research projects are currently being conducted by our graduate students. Today we will demonstrate some experiments we have conducted that will show you how you can learn a great deal about fire simply by examining a candle flame. Here's Dr. Quinteria with a little history. These experiments are based on lectures that Michael Faraday gave in the mid-1800s. And he gave these lectures to young people around the holiday time to illustrate aspects of chemistry and physics through looking at experiments with a candle. That book exists today. It's called The Chemical History of a Candle by Michael Faraday, and those are his lectures. And these experiments are based on aspects of that, and they're, they emphasize really the combustion aspects of the candle flame. In our first test, we will attempt to reignite the white vapors released by the candle when we blow it out. You can see that the flame travels back to the wick. Let's watch it again in slow motion. This tells us that the vapors released by the candle are what's burning. Our next experiment will prove that the gasified fuel from the wax fills the region inside the flame. We can extract the fuel from inside the candle using this eyedropper and blow it out. Here it is again in slow motion. The third experiment shows how heat is transferred from the candle to an index card. The radiation from the candle and the heat from the hot gases released from the burning are heating the card. At this distance, it is enough to ignite the paper. This is all accomplished without the candle flame or the index card touching. These experiments are all very simple, but they help us understand how fire works on a much larger scale. When we are armed with this knowledge, we are able to conduct research on sprinkler design, create computer simulations, assess fire risks, and examine the use of new kinds of fuels, all of which is being done at the University of Maryland's Fire Protection Engineering Department.